Now, I hope that you guys are so excited because today we're going to be diving into my Coach collection. Now, historically, I have been into Coach for nearly 20 years. There's almost 20 years of collecting here. Granted, not all of it's here, but I have a lot of Coach in my collection. So before we dive in, if you're new here, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership. We have an awesome engaged community, extra perks, early access to new videos, meetups, you name it, it is literally in the membership. I have been collecting Coach for a very long time. Since 2006 is when I bought my first piece. It was either a car Card holder or a cell phone charm, I do not remember, but I fully blame my husband and his mother for getting me fully into coach, and it has just been a, an obsession that has never ended. Even though I don't have all of my coach collection here through the years with me, I still have a pretty good chunk. Now, if we were doing everything, that would be including like bags, SLG, shoes, jewelry, ready to wear housewares, hats, we would be here literally all day. So we're just gonna stick to bags and SLGs. You're welcome, I'm welcome. Thank you for that. I have been collecting Coach for such a long time. There's so many good pieces here. Some are actually exceptionally rare and you might not have seen them unless you've been on my channel. So let's dive in. We're gonna kick it off with the early 2000s. So like I was saying, my, my gateway drug, if you will, was Coach and it started with this stupid thing. So this is from the outlet. This is the mini signature. It's technically a photo frame, but it's like literally the perfect size for credit cards, IDs, you name it. And it fits quite a bit too. So it started out with this mahogany one. And then later on about like six months a year into collecting. My husband gave me this one with a surprise gift, which we'll talk about in a minute. This one is my original. I have had this one for nearly 20 years and it's starting to show its age. It's It's been stuck in my pants before. It's gone through the wash. It's, it's, it's a little rough, but I don't know. I just, I love this piece and I will literally never get rid of it. It survived two fires just because it happened to be in my pockets at the time. And this is kind of a ride or die piece. I really love this. Now, if you want to talk about ludicrously capacious handbags, one of the first bags in my collection definitely fits that bill. And it is the Transatlantic XL Tote. Now this bad boy I used to carry as an everyday bag. And if you want a little bit more history into my coach collecting the stories behind all of these, because I don't have time to tell the stories today, check out the Bags I've Lost video I posted a couple years ago. It's a little cringe, but kind of a fun background and history on these things. But my husband actually surprised me with this twice. He took me to buy it at the outlet first when it was brand new, and then second, after our first fire and this had been discontinued, we bid against each other unknowingly. He won and surprised it with me a second time. So super sweet, super sentimental. And I don't know, I love this piece. It's good for travel. It's good for, well, not every day because it's huge and, and seriously heavy, but I just love mini signature and Viquetta. So it's just a match made in heaven. I love these pieces. Now, another piece that my husband romantically surprised me with. He picked me up one day after work. God, this had to have been back in like 2007, maybe eight, like very early on in our relationship. And he was like, hey, I picked up some groceries. Can you help me take them in? And this happened to be sitting in the trunk of his car. This is also from the Transatlantic collection. And this is like literally, I, I know it's technically for cosmetics and travel, like bits and bobs, but this is the perfect summertime clutch. Are you going out to lunch and you're dining al fresco? Take the Transatlantic clutch. And it's so cute because it has a little zipper pocket here on the back that does fit the phone. And I love all the little hang tags and extras that this bag has. I did lose this in our first fire. I recently, well, by recently, I mean within the last two or three years, found it on eBay, purchased it again, and finding one with Viquetta in nearly mint condition is next to impossible. So the fact that I was able to do that blows my mind because these don't come up often, and when they do, they are so rough looking, they're sad. Now listen, you guys know that I am obsessed with wallets that go with certain handbags, and I have way too many wallets. My SLG collection, it's out of control, but this one I had to have, especially knowing how much I love the mini signature with Viquetta. Now I picked this up on eBay a couple of years ago, and again, much like finding these bags in good condition, the Viquetta wallets are even harder. Now look at all of that Viquetta goodness inside of this wallet. It is literally perfection. Super cute, it holds just enough of what you need, so when you're carrying those little bags, I just toss this in and it is like, one of the best 20 bucks I've ever spent on a wallet. Now, speaking of wallets, this was actually a gift to me from Zane's mother recently. Um, like I said, back in the day, me, him, and his mom would all go up to the outlets almost bi-weekly and just go ham at the outlets, go out to lunch. And this was a piece that she had in her collection and I've always loved it. I just think the flower applique is so cute. I think it's Hamptons if I remember right. It just overall, the interior is white, very plain. And we were going through her SLG collection because she's like me and has way too many. And she's like, oh, you can just take that. And I'm like, don't tell me twice, that's going to my luggage. And I don't know, it's just gonna be something cute and sentimental and uh, I don't know, I like having it in my collection. All right, we have seen a ton of signatures so far, so let's switch things up and go a little exotic. Now this next piece, you guys, it is literally so rare, you may never have even seen it before because it is literally number two 
of 100. And yes, of course I have one. Thank you. <laughs> this is just the alligator clutch. It is in a beautiful red shiny alligator. Might be crocodile. I think it's alligator. I'm leaning towards alligator. But this bag, you guys, it is so freaking cute. I think it's from 2002, if I remember right. And the fact that I was able to find one and for the price that I did, it might have been like less than 150, literally blows my mind. Now, listen, you all know I am not a huge red fan unless it's like a really good Rouge H from Hermes. So have I worn this yet? No, I don't need your judgment. But I think this would look really cute with my red cape from Gucci be kind of a vibe. Just having this in my collection is just like as a collector's piece, 10 out of 10. I love this clutch, you guys. Now, I know I said I wouldn't be doing like jewelry, hats, things like that, but I do have some scarves and the scarves that I have are kind of primo. Now, this first one is from the Kimono collection. Again, very early Y2K energy and mine still has the tags attached. Now, no, I have not been sitting on this for nearly 30 years with the tags still attached. I just happened to find it complete in box with the tags, but this is the Kimono scarf. Now, this has a beautiful signature C pattern. You have the dragons here across the front, which would have been perfect for a year of dragon celebrations. You also have this vermilion orange trim here at the bottom with the, the tassels. And this piece, you guys, I, I know I haven't worn it yet, but if I did, I'd probably just like toss it over my shoulder like Crystal Carrington would with her foxtails. And that would just be like a moment in my opinion. If you find any kimono on the resale market, it goes for so much money because it is so rare, so limited edition. A lot of it's the bags are trimmed with mink fur. So they're quite, over the top, but they are so fabulously coach, so just amazing and tacky for that era. I just had to have it as soon as I saw it, and I wasn't kidding. Tags are still attached. To finish up the early Y2K era, I'm going to show you one more bag, and then we're going to rapid fire some SLGs because my late 2000s bags are oh so good, and I cannot wait to show you guys. Now, this next bag everybody went nuts for when I shared it. This is the mini field bag. Now, seriously, everybody in the comments when they were looking for this bag, they found them on eBay, they were sharing them on Reddit and the purse forum. I love mine. Now, this is just done in the large signature Jacquard canvas, Vaquetta trim. My Vaquetta, for the most part, is still pretty good. I have some water spots here on the bottom. Not my fault. I love wearing this bag, especially in like the summertime and the fall. You just open it through these magnetic straps here on the front, opens to the orange vermilion lighting that they they were so famous for with the early signature bags. And these little holes are for whimsical push pens, which I do have, I just haven't put on yet. They're also not gonna be featured in this because I would have to find them and finding anything coach in this house is literally a task because there's some in every room. This bag, you guys, is seriously so fabulous and I couldn't have paid more than 20, 30 bucks. If you can find one, get your hands on it. The best summer bag in my opinion, hands down. So to rapid fire some SLGs, first up, I have this classic mini signature mahogany mini skinny. This I use quite a bit. I'll just slide like my purse hook in and a couple other things just that I need easy access to. This is always in my bag or I can switch it up and use the Soho version. Now, you know, it's Soho because of the shape and the way that these little corners are on there. This is done in mini signature and suede. Super fabulous. I also have the accordion card holder in the teal blue, which I showed you in the original card holder, as well as the passport holder that I may or may have sold from Zane's mom, I don't know. Laura, if you want it back, let me know. I also have another passport holder that actually has my passport in it that's not gonna be featured today because again, digging. And last but not least, the mini pill case. This was actually my husband's. I stole it from him so that way I could have like Tylenol, Tums, Advil, I'm in my mid thirties, so. This is always in my bag. Now that wraps up early Y2K coach. Let's talk about some late 2000s coach with a little bit of read crack off goodness. You all know Bleecker and Legacy 65th anniversary collections are my absolute favorite. So of course I have some Bleecker. I don't have any Legacy anymore, but first up, let's kick it off with a very rare tote. And again, I'm gonna need your help finding another one. First up for my Bleecker collection is the Bleecker XL tote. Literally, that's all it's called. This came in four colorways. I have the mahogany here. It also came in oak, ink, and my favorite chambray, which I have stupidly sold when I was younger. So if anyone knows where I can get the chambray again, please let me know. I will pay handsomely for it. I need that back in my collection. But for now, I'm just happy to have the mahogany. True to bleaker characteristics, this has that nice, thick, rich leather. The exterior is suede with the exception of this large pocket and the handles. I love this over the top zipper pull here. Late 2000s coach was synonymous with over the top hardware, which does not disappoint unless it's legacy and it turns vertigree, but then it disappoints. But other than that, I love that energy. And the interior aside from the stuffing is literally just a big brown hole and more of that delicious leather. Now it is completely reversible. So if you wanna go a little bit more under the radar, you don't want this big coach thing here on the front of your bag, flip it inside out. You can just have all leather and 
Again, if anyone has any tips on where I can get the chambray, let me know, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> if you guys missed it, my most recent March pickups, not the Dooney and Burke haul I just shared last week, but the, the March pickups from the week before, I got my hands on the Coach Bleeker Large Felicia Hobo, and you guys... I paid $18 for this. This was originally, I want to say $5.95, $6.95. Like Coach used to be up there in the late 2000s with the price. And again, that rich buttery leather from the Bleaker collection. Beautiful over the top hardware. Like, I mean, hello, this, this dog leash clip could knock somebody out. More tassels and just like overall a stunning bag. I haven't had the chance to carry it just yet, but I, I am so excited, you guys. This bag is fabulous. And if you can get your hands on some of this Bleaker era stuff, do it because it literally sells for pennies on the dollar these days and the quality is exceptional like these bags are made to last now when it comes to slgs from this era i really don't have that many i just have this safiano men's bifold wallet and like caleb that's not even your style i'm like i know i just kind of throw this if i'm running somewhere and i don't want to like take a bag or a nice wallet and i remember to, to use this i kind of grab it out of my drawer but it has been a very long time since i have i don't really like safiano leather anymore so would i rebuy it probably not but i mean it's gotten quite a bit of use Usage. It's got some miles on it. And aside from that, not to brag, but I also have the very rare Coach Poppy Pom Pom Charm in the blue suede. Now this piece, you guys, <laughs> I had it originally, found it at the outlet, sold it for a small fortune, and rebought it for another small fortune. This piece, you guys, is phenomenal. Again, another rare piece that you don't see pop up too often. I think all the collectors that have them probably don't want to let them go, but it is literally, like, this is some of the best pom-pom I've ever seen. It's so over the top, so late 2000s coach, and it looks really cute hanging off of some of my bags, so this is not going to leave my collection a second time. I can guarantee that. That, that brings us up to modern day coach. I had slept on coach for quite a few years and it wasn't until I bought this next piece that it just kind of reignited my love for the brand. My like my passion, if you will, for coach. I even used to work for coach at one point. This piece, you guys, this is the large blanket scarf from the coach X Basquiat collection. And it is 100% a vibe, much like the kimono scarf. I would just throw this over my shoulder on my coat and just have like a Crystal Carrington moment. It's giving a uh, big energy and I'm here for it. I love the city scene that are depicted on the scarf that, that they're throughout and then of course it has the quintessential empire here on the top and I'm so glad I broke my coach drought to pick this up because this piece you guys is everything. This brings us up to my coach denim era. Now my husband, thank you husband, picked up the denim soft tabby for me when they first came out. I even got my initials heat stamped here into the hang tag. I just did a blind stamp because quiet luxury as he just holds up the biggest loudest bag but the soft tab you guys this is like the perfect I know I said this about the mini field bag but this is the perfect summer bag it's nice it's light it's cool it's breezy it's just like like a familiar fun pair of jeans I love this bag so much I picked up the mat matching SLGs I got the large wristlet and then of course the matching tabby wallet because why not <laughs> it's a moment it's a vibe so next up, that brings us up to one of my biggest disappointments when it comes to my coach collection, the coach kip. Now, I believe this is in the color Rust or Canyon, and that confusion is going to come into play here in a little bit. Now, I found this on the outlet website for the reserve, and it's cute overall. Like, don't get me wrong. I carried it a few times. I did. It goes crossbody. Before I even got it into my hands, I was like, you know what? Let's go to the coach store. I'm too excited. Let's go and get a wallet. And I picked up this wallet that doesn't match and it's way too big for the bag and it was way too much money. I don't remember how much it cost at the time, but I went in thinking like old coach prices and I'm thinking like 60, maybe 70 bucks for a small card holder wallet. My my jaw hit the floor and it was just kind of like one of those moments like just take my card. I'm not gonna, <laughs> it was way too much money for what it is. It's fine. It's just, you know, coated canvas some refined calfskin leather and microfiber interior. It's not, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. But these next two pieces, these won't be disappointments. So speaking of very rare and hard to find bags, this next one, you guys, was quite, quite a journey in order to attain. I worked harder for this than my stupid Birkin. That's how hard I had to work for this bag. But I was able to get my hands on the Coach Eagle NYC Cash and 33 toe. This bag, you guys, is absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. You know I love good homoerotic art, history, Tom of Finland stuff. So like this bag was like perfect for my collection. I think I've carried it out twice just because when the weekend comes along, I, I don't know, I just don't really grab for it. And it's not terribly work appropriate. So it hasn't gone out as much as it should, but guys, this bag is absolutely fabulous. I have seen these recently on the resale markets. I think there's like one or two out there for a couple thousand dollars. Like these are hard to get your hands on. And I heard a rumor once that they only made 500 of these. Can anyone confirm that 
down in the comments. I wouldn't be surprised because these literally never even made it to the website. Like I had to call and call and call. And luckily a very kind essay over in Soho, I think ended up calling me back. Someone failed to come in for their wish list item and they overnighted it and it is fabulous. Now that brings us up to my final bag. Now again, I've been collecting coach for a very long time, probably had several hundred coach pieces come in and out of our household over the years. So the fact that I'm down to this level is, is pretty good. I'm honestly surprised that I got it all into both shelves, even though I had to remove all my boxes, but that's beside the point. This final bag is probably one of my most prized coach bags and also my newest. This is the cute little Rogue 20 in the zebra hair calf. Now I recently shared this with you guys, I think earlier this year, with a coach outlet vlog and haul and I am, I, I own this. I found this. So this bag, you guys, I still have all the stickers on the hardware. I still have the tags attached. Like I, I need to get into this bag sooner than later, but it's just kind of giving like special moment outfit energy for the first time, maybe just a brunch, but I don't know guys, this is so freaking cute. And I've wanted a rogue for a very long time. And I was talking to my husband and he made a really good point. He was like, you know, it's probably a good thing that your first rogue was such a special rogue and not just like a plain leather one, because with my collection, how often would I have grabbed a plain leather? leather rogue or a signature rogue like literally never this though this is going to inspire me to carry it i'm already seeing like beautiful linen outfits some like over the top brunch moments vacation moments like hello breakfast at the resort kind of a moment i am literally so excited that i have this and yeah it's in my collection and that is my 2024 coach collection. Now as a coach connoisseur, yes, as a coach connoisseur, where will this year take me? I don't know. Like, I don't really know like where my concentration is going to be for the rest of the year for my handbag collection. I've been really big into Dooney and Burke lately. I don't know. Coach, even though I have like the Burke and the Kelly, the Fendi peekaboos, like the big ticket bags, Coach will always have such a special place in my collection. So many fond memories with the brand, with Zane and his mom, shopping weekends. I don't know. It's just kind of... It's a feel good brand for me. Let me know in the comments, which was your favorite piece from my collection? What is the favorite piece from your coach collection? Let's get a conversation going. And how long have you been buying coach? Like coach has been around for a good minute and I'm sure we've got some people with some good vintage bags in this group. Anyway guys, until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.